Well, if you are in search for inspiration, look no further than a special program airing tonight right here on Portland CW. All American Stories follows the incredible stories of athletes who've overcome some pretty unimaginable obstacles, and it includes an athlete from right here in Lake Oswego. Joining us this morning is two-time Olympian Lopez Lamont. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Oh my gosh, it's, I'm so excited to talk to you. For anyone who is uh, unfamiliar, tell us a little bit about your story. Yes, um, I am. Uh, my name is Lopez Lamont. I was born in South Sudan in a war-torn country that was uh, ravaged by uh, by war when I was a child. I was taken away by a gunpoint um, in a church, uh, separated with my family, and um, and then with with the help of the young uh, brothers and who uh, who knew my my family, rescued me in a uh, prison camp, took me all the way to Kenya, trying to run to Kenya for safety, and I uh, spent about 10 years in a refugee camp in Kenya, basically struggling to survive um, day by day and um, getting some rationing from the UN um, So for, for every 45 days. So um, I just survived and trying to like, I want to be able to like live the life and, and be, you know, contribute to the world until in 2001, um, or 2001 that I, US government wanted you uh, lost boys to be resettled in the United States and I got a chance to come here and uh, continue with my life and go to school and with the help of uh, with a loving family that I had in upstate New York uh, Robert and Barbara Rogers and I just grew up to be to be a runner and continue with my running and journey and to give back to American people that's basically the shortest part. I was going to say, I, I know that's the the Spark Notes version, but Lopez, that's incredible. I mean, from from where you started out in your childhood, did you ever dream that that one day you would be uh, running in the Olympics? No, no, not at all. I I was just like I was always wanted to be as strong as powerful as my my dad because my dad is a farmer, uh, took care of his cows and go to the garden. And I was just always trying to help them as much as I can. And um, so that was my life. And uh, it was, I was very happy, obviously, having my family, my mom and my dad, my brothers uh, there. And it, it, you know, the house was a little small, little hut, but it was, um, it was a happy place until the day that I was separated from them. And um, that, was, that was basically when my dream changed and from like, being this kid want to be a farmer one day to be as strong as father like his father and um now running for his life and trying to search for um the freedom and search for uh, uh safety somewhere and i ended up coming to the united states and i you know and and from that point i just really wanted to do everything i can to give back to american people the people with a big heart loving people um opening their arms and and their doors to be able to welcome this kid who survive and you know struggle and things like that i didn't have any money in my pocket i didn't have anything i was just a kid and um then now i'm just you know pursuing that dreams on you know using my talent that god gave me to uh, to give back to american people and hopefully make my third olympic team here well your journey is truly a remarkable one i can't wait to see more about it um on this special how was it filming this during quarantine and i guess what, what did you think when they first approached you about being part of the show i, I was over i was overwhelmed by basically and uh, to be able to just have my story in with uh with a series of all american stories um i was i thought i was i was dreaming i, was, I started pinching myself i was like okay this is not right this is not true and um and the and then when they came here to to film me, I I remember it was pouring rain, it was cold, and and basically I just went inside my heart and said like this is a story that people want to know, want to hear, especially in the quarantine, especially you are uh, dealing with this uh, you know pandemic that that was going on, and I'm so honored to be able to have my story. Uh, hopefully, people will be able to like tune in tonight and. Uh, just to be able to watch it and like um, get you know get something to inspire them to do something better for the human humanity. Yeah, well, like we said, for anyone who is looking for a little bit of inspiration and a little boost right now, I know we could all use it these days. Uh, your story is one of just inspiration, Lopez. Thank you so much for joining us. It's great to talk with you. Best of luck in your training. I think you've got some good uh, good sunny training weather up ahead here over the next couple months. So enjoy. Thank you so much for having me. Absolutely.
Oh, yeah, of, of course, and we cannot wait to watch this. By the way, I want to mention Spencer Pacinger, who attended University of Oregon, uh, hosting the show. So be sure to check out All American Stories that airs tonight at 9 p.m. right here on Portland CW.